What is up guys, James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel, and in this video we're going to be doing the weekly reading for the week of November 4th through November 10th. I gotta tell you guys, I'm happy that October's over, I was getting sick of it. I was sick of the shadow work, I was sick of the dark decks, I was sick of seeing zombies and skeletons and ghosts and all sorts of negative things everywhere you looked. Now we can get on to more positive things like Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we're still mired in the negativity because... Well, it depends on how you look at it, of course. But uh, if you're living in the Northern Hemisphere, at least in the North, of, at least in the United States, uh, the time changes, or the time has changed by the time this video is out. So, oh, it's getting dark at 4 o'clock. Unless you're in one of those beautiful states like Alaska or Arizona. Oh, man, this is the time of year I gotta pull out my, my citrine. <laughs> My sunstone, my heliodor, those crystals that remind me of the sun because I get very sad. <laughs> so thank you, Zitri. I'll be working with you very soon. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, we're going to be using a deck that we haven't used in a while. This is the Anna K Tarot. And we're going to be asking it, what do we need to know about this upcoming week in order to make this week the best week possible? As we do each and every week. So let's get into it. We'll look at these cards individually, then see what they have to tell us as a whole. So let's start with this one. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. The feeling I'm getting from this card is kind of being focused on the planning of what you need to do. <laughs> what you just need to period. What you need to do, right? I'm not getting the sense of oh, spending time doing uh, my my um, hobbies, right? I get the feeling here that uh, this, the start of this week at least, is going to be a time for you to focus on what you need to do. So focus on work, focus on money, on finances, on uh, getting things done, you know, doing chores, doing errands, that sort of thing. Uh, this is going to be a focus on just uh, tying up loose ends and making sure everything's taken care of. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a queen, so it's got some softer energies to it. It's not like a go, 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 rush, rush, gotta get everything done type of energy. I'm giving them more of a feeling of, you know, taking things methodically, kind of slowly, one by one, making sure everything's taken care of, basically. So uh, it's going to be a, a, a time for us to, I was going to say balance your checkbook, but who does that anyway? That's from like the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> organize your sock drawer I don't know whatever you do to stay organized uh, make sure your projects at work are on time that sort of thing so very um tactile is that, is that a good way to explain it type of energy very uh, focused on whatever I think I've said enough let's move on over to this card <laughs> we've got the seven of swords very different energy here uh, the Seven of Swords is about maybe miscommunication. It's about basically negative ne ego thoughts. Um, worry, doubt, fear, anxiety, that sort of thing. Uh, and I think that this is probably a result of being a little bit too grounded and then letting the ego mind run things. It's sort of the feeling that I'm getting here. Uh, like, when, for instance, you know, when we start to get focused on the grounded physical things in this world, when we're starting to worry about, you know, where our food's coming from, what we got to do uh, at this time because we scheduled an appointment, when we're rushing around, making sure everything's taken care of, like I said, work projects are done on time, uh, that can cause a little bit of stress when things don't go perfectly well. And when, you know, stress occurs, I think that's when the ego mind will often uh, take control and start to tell you things. Oh, you'll never get that done on time. Oh, you don't have the resources resources available to complete this task oh it's, you're gonna be late or oh it's not gonna work for whatever reason uh, all people are gonna get in your way and your ego mind will feed you all sorts of negative things about what you're trying to do and, and as a result it creates a lot of stress a lot of stress over things that don't even exist over your ego mind telling you these negative things so I do see the ego mind kind of asserting itself uh, 
later on in this week and and trying to tell you that things aren't going to work that you're you're working hard for no reason uh just all sorts of worries doubts and fears so be very aware of that and realize that that's just your ego mind inventing things to be more stressed out about you know a little bit of stress causes your ego mind to go into full stress mode and it just compounds and it snowballs and it gets bigger and bigger and uh, we can avoid this just by controlling our ego mind at least being aware of what our ego mind is saying when it's saying negative things that aren't even true uh just stopping and nipping it in the bud and saying hey wait a second <laughs> who told you that uh, i'm creating my own reality so how do you know what's going to happen in the future ego mind you don't you're making it up <laughs> Okay, so that's something to think about uh, this week is is controlling the ego mind. I say controlling, there's no way to control it, uh, but you can be more conscious of it and slowly, incrementally, little by little, uh, minimize its its output. <laughs> okay, let's move on to this last card. And we've got the Four of Rods. Ruby Rod. And this is a card of celebration, of getting together with people to celebrate, to be happy, to be merry, to enjoy life. And uh, it seems like the end of this week is going to feel much less stressful. And things are going to feel happier and um, I think you're going to be relieved a little bit. Uh, and it's, it's just like... You know, the four of, of rods after a week of stress seems great. It's a, it's, a, it's a chance for you to let loose, go out and party, enjoy yourself, get ready for the upcoming holiday season. Whatever you like to do, enjoy for fun. Do that at the end of this week. Um, because I, I see almost like, um, what do you call that? Like a hump? Like imagine a graph that starts out low, it goes high, it's got a hump, and then it goes back down to low. Uh, and then the high point representing your stress. <laughs> okay, that's like your stress here. It starts out low, it goes high, and then it goes back down to low again. Uh, so uh, just be wary of that this week and don't let things get to you. Realize that everything's going to happen when it's meant to be happening. Don't worry about time constraints. Don't about, worry about resource constraints. Uh, the universe will provide what needs to be provided when it needs to be provided. And it has nothing to do with your, what your ego mind says needs. What your ego mind says it needs when. <laughs> okay, it has nothing to do with that. Universe is on its own time schedule. Don't stress out about it so much. So I, I do feel as though this is a, a a challenging week coming up but you know those challenging weeks are the weeks where we grow the most where we can really appreciate this four of rods energy right if you don't do anything you don't feel any resistance you don't feel any problems uh, then when the four of rods energy comes up you don't really appreciate it because it's always been party time <laughs> okay but when you hit this resistance and you encounter uh, blockages in your road that four of, of wands energy is gonna feel great it's like finally this feels good <laughs> so appreciate the the low points because they make the high points feel better and vice versa uh, so that's something to keep in mind this week but also realize that um, the stress that you cause is exactly that stress that you have caused yourself okay so that's not good i don't have to tell you that why would you create stress for yourself that doesn't make any sense uh, and, and just be aware that it's your ego mind uh, it's not real stress okay your ego mind is inventing things i know a lot of people who get stressed out very easily and it's all worry you know oh i've got this meeting next week it's not gonna go well they're gonna turn me down and i'm gonna be out on the street how on earth could you possibly know that if it's next week that is your mind being fearful that's your mind creating stress out of nothing Right? If you realize that you're creating your own reality, then you're going to dictate how that meeting next week goes. Not your ego mind, but your heart, your soul, your emotions. They're going to dictate how that meeting goes. Uh, but you can let your negative ego mind affect it. And you're going to put up blockages to that meeting going well. It's, it's crazy. It's your ego mind doesn't want that meeting to go poorly but it's creating the reason why the meeting's gonna go poorly if that doesn't make any sense then you're right <laughs> okay all right so um basically the gist of it is it's a uh, kind of a work focused week that's gonna bring a lot of stress uh, and anxiety and worry but that's gonna be all created by you created by your own ego by your own mind and by the end of the week I think you're gonna realize oh that was all for nothing <laughs> that all that worry all that stress was all for nothing uh, so that's kind of the gist of this week. So 
I do want to say that this is a general reading. It's not meant to resonate with every single person. Uh, so take what works for you, leave the rest. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, it's lightofragged.com. The link is in the description box below, and we can do any number of personal readings, get to any the bottom of any situation that you want to get to the bottom of. <laughs> okay, so check that out. Uh, be sure to do all the YouTube stuffs, so the liking, the sharing, the commenting, subscribing. I really do appreciate all the interaction. I want to thank, you know who you are, those people who comment on every video. I don't need to name names. You guys are great. I really do appreciate you uh, tuning in, and I appreciate your interaction, so thank you for that. And that's going to be it. I want to wish you a great November, everybody. I want to wish you love and light as you move forward on your path this week. Remember, you cause the worry and stress. Nobody else. By the way that you react to situations. Uh, think about that this week. All right, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy tarot Peace and love.